Hello, Jess Too Good here, and these are basically LEGO's first minifigure blind box series. While I wouldn't call these an official LEGO minifigure series, these are a lot alike, with 12 mystery minifigures to collect. However, they're not foil packs, but rather blind boxes, and they interact with the LEGO video app, which, if I had to be honest, really sucks. It's this clunky music-making app aimed at kids, but there's no way to even export the videos, and there's such limited options. It doesn't inspire creativity, in my opinion. But I love LEGO minifigures, so I'm going to ignore the app and just open up 24 of these LEGO video boxes, which is one complete display box. Not only do I like how crazy these minifigures look, but I'm genuinely curious if one box will provide two sets since there's 12 figures and what the breakdown is with even the beat bits, which are these two by two tiles that each of the figures come with. But anyways, enough talk. Let's open up the packs. It's our first pack being the Cheetah, I think it is. Lego calls all these characters bandmates in this whole series, Bandmates Series 1. And that's because each of them do have a musical instrument or something musical related to them. This one is a DJ Cheetah, which that two by two print of that disc looks great. But even more so, that head mold. I love that these characters have exclusive head molds. Some people are saying they're pretty furry. I don't know. The design of this tail right here attaches at the hip right there, and you can see some printing there. And also, there's three beat bits, which I was talking about earlier. They're just two by two tiles, and those interact with the app. Whatever. I love that these are album covers or just pop art that you could put in Lego minifigure houses. That's what I like. And then underneath, we, or behind there, they just use one of these two by two plates with the studs at the side and then one of these one by two bricks with the studs at the side and just attached that two by six plate right here. I like the system they have going on here and it's different enough from Lego minifigure series to not get the two confused. I'm also curious, is there a box breakdown where there's only unique minifigures for each row? So like you would get one complete set on one row and one complete set on the other row? Cause this is that fresh of a box. But anyways, for our second box, let's see what's inside. And, oh, we got the red panda. For the red panda, I think this is the same, yeah, it's the same headpiece as a cheetah. It's just colored and designed so differently that you can't put the two and two together so easily. I like that a lot. I also like the printing on the torso. Maybe it's because it has that purple base and I'm a sucker for purple. At the back, you can see some more printing. And then we have three beat bits, which I'm still trying to figure out, is there a set arrangement for maybe the two per box or is it just all random? Apparently these beat bits are a random pool for all of the sets, including the boxes you'll get. So you might even get some of these beat bits in the regular sets that are $20. And I think it's just by wave that there's a wave of beat bits. I really wish there was a way to collect and notice which beat bits there are, but I'm sure there probably is one in the app. I just don't want to load that crap up. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, am I being too mean to app? Is it a hidden gem? Because I tried messing around with it for like 30 minutes and I was just having a bad time. But anyways, inside this box, what we have is I think the Disc Cowboy it's called. While this one's not my favorite, I love seeing cowboys in Lego form. Maybe we'll get Lego Western again sometime. And there's some gorgeous printing on the torso and legs. I like that blue shine there. I also like getting this cowboy hat in that dark blue. At the back, you have some more printing. And there's three beat bits, one of which is relevant to like a horse. So maybe there's something that links it to this specific figure, or maybe it is just still random. Oh, it makes sense now. So they have one specific to each character. So really there's two random ones you would get with each character, but each one has a specific beat bit. So this one you'll get with every cowboy. This one you'll get with every red fox. That makes total sense. And I don't think you could get any of those beat bits that are specific to the character in any other set. But I might be wrong about that. And inside, we have the genie. For the genie, I love the printing on that genie bottom there. I also love getting this hair piece in pink, which I never expected to get in that color before, but it looks awesome. And then at the back, some cool torso printing. Also, this tambourine is awesome. Dang, I said awesome way too much. All right, I'll stop saying awesome. I just really like this figure. <laughs> and then for the beat bits, the exclusive one is this one in the middle. I also like this one with the screaming chicken. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put them in the background. But anyways, for our next box, I actually wanna know, let me know in the comments because I'm going to try to start a new series where we'll talk about it. Are these blind boxes a bad idea? And also, are Lego minifigure series going to switch that? And is that gonna be a bad idea for Lego minifigure series?
we'll talk about in another video. But for now, I just got a really, really awesome mini figure, which is the ice cream saxophonist. This design I really like because we haven't gotten like an ice cream suit character before and I used to not like the suit characters. This is just a full on ice cream man. His printing is on the face and I like how round this headpiece is. I don't know, I like specific molded heads where they're like a specific character. And at the top, I almost thought this was dual molded but it just seems to be one molding with the inside still being a white. I don't know, it's just a really complex head mold. I love how that came out. Some people don't like to call them molds and just call them new pieces. You get what I mean. But the torso printing and legs looks great as well. And at the back, there's even some printing. Also some printing at the arms that looks really cool. And of course he has a saxophone as an accessory and some tiles, which the tiles or the beat bits as they're called. Haven't seen this one before. This one is exclusive to the ice cream guy. Maybe I should snoop around the app because I'm genuinely curious how many of these beat bits there are still because I have not gotten one repeat beat bit. That's pretty good. So I will say one thing I really do kind of like about these boxes is that there's no loose pieces where sometimes I'll open up a Lego minifigure pack and then the pieces will fly everywhere. This one, they're all in a bag. Like even nowadays they have bags for Lego minifigures, but some of the pieces are in there. I think this is a werewolf drummer. And this design uses an existing Lego werewolf piece. Well, at least for the base of the head, the printing and everything is new. And that looks actually pretty cool. I don't know. It's probably my favorite iteration of this head piece yet. And then the torso print, I really like with the little dog collar and the legs right there. At the back, you have some more printing and two bones as an accessory or your musical accessory. And then for the beat bits, we have this exclusive one in the middle. I'm just going to start putting their exclusive ones right in the middle there. And then two to the side, which I think that's, oh no, we haven't gotten that cat before. For some reason, I thought we got that cat in this opening. I guess got it in another opening. The good news is it's seeming like each row of the box has one complete set. So if you just want to get one complete set of these without filling it up, get a fresh box and just get one row. Anyways, oh no, <laughs> right as I'm, I love right as I'm saying that my theory is disproven. Oh man, with the cowboy singer appearing once again. That would have been so perfect. Oh man, I was hoping there would be an easy way to get a complete set, just pulling that whole row there. But anyways, for our second cowboy, you'll see that there are two different beat bits, like I said earlier. And so yeah, I don't know what the order is. If there's three of these in the box, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that means that each one does not come with two complete sets, which is concerning, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I was so cautious as to not rearrange any of them from Target to my house, but who knows? Anyways, at the front, at the front, what am I saying? Opening this one up, we have the Samurai. And this design, I like getting that Garmadon helmet in purple, but he might be my least favorite. I don't know, it's just like the rest of it doesn't really scream Samurai. It's not the most unique concept even. That middle part is the exclusive beat bit. And what probably disappoints me the most is that his face print is like one of the most generic Lego City face prints. Am I wrong there? Is that that same face print that I'm thinking of and that you're thinking of? I don't know. It doesn't look new and it looks like that reused one. All right, next box. Let's see. Oh, yep. This is from the same first row too, and we got a second repeat. So the row theory is completely destroyed. And comparing this cheetah to the first cheetah we got, I might be noticing a trend. Look at this. We get a bright bluish green beat bit and then a black beat bit. And then of course the same one in the middle, right? Same with this repeat right here, which is the cowboy. We get a pink one and then we get a green one. Is it maybe that each of these figures have a specific code of which color beat bit you'd get, but not which specific beat bit you'd get? Who knows? We'll have to see with the rest of the duplicates. Anyways, we have seven unique ones, two duplicates. All right, next pack. Let's see what's inside. And, ooh, shark guy. This is my first shark guy ever, and I love the design of this headpiece. As I said, I love these ridiculous, cartoony, specific molded heads. I like those more than just minifigures and costumes. And this goes all out with some great printing all around, a nice blue base, <laughs> this mohawk and coral. And the torso and leg printing looks great. That's one thing with a lot of these figures, like the torso printings look really cool, where they're almost like band jackets where you'll have funky logos at the back. And then the printing for these beat bits, the exclusive one is that seagull one in the middle right there. 
And I was going to say, speaking about the last opening, you guys were so awesome and so kind with me, including my girlfriend in the opening. She had a lot of fun and she had so much fun reading your comments too. We didn't shoot another video together, but she'll be back very soon. So we'll be shooting some more videos probably in April. Stay tuned for that. But anyways, we have the genie. Again, even though it's a concept we've gotten in minifigure form before, this is one of my favorites of this series with just how colorful it looks. And this beat bit arrangement is different from our last one, but it still follows that little conspiracy I have where they have the same colors. You got a pink one and you got a yellow one. And that was our third repeat from the right row. And we only have two more for that right row left. And we have the alien DJ, I think it is. This is another one of my favorites from the series. I love just this goofy alien girl design. This hair piece at the top, it's a little bit hard to remove, but it's a hard rubber. And these antennas are an orange. The base is a purple. I think that looks really, really cool. Also love getting the keytar piece in this bright bluish green. That looks fantastic. Exclusive beat bit is the one in the middle. I like this one to the left too. Last one on the right side where we're still missing three figures. I think we're missing that ghost girl, which I got before, and I'm not sure the other two. Oh, Bunny is one of them. But uh, another ice cream guy, still one of my favorites from the series, comparing the beat bits to the last one. Okay, I'm confirming this theory. <laughs> Each character has a set number of color beat bits they get. So it seems like ice cream guy gets orange ones, as well as black ones, and then the same one in the middle. And here's just a reminder of who we've gotten so far. Next box, let's see what's inside. And another, <gasps> oh no! Three cowboys, one box. Again, this was, <sighs> this was a fresh box. I'll tell you exactly how I found this box. This was on a shelf of a bunch of new spring 2021 releases from Target. It was opened, but all the packs there were perfectly put together, just as how you saw it in the beginning of the video. So there is the slightest possibility that maybe some kid picked up some of the ones from the other aisle because there were a couple loose ones separate in another aisle and just put some of those in this one, but I highly doubt it. I think what's really going on here is that Lego does not have a complete set of two minifigures per box. So if you want an easy way out, I can't even recommend just getting one box. <sighs> but then again, I mean, it should have at least one complete set, right? But then again, I don't have a complete set yet, and that gets me worried because there's a possibility that this doesn't have a complete set per box. But I think we got like nine boxes left, so there's still hope. And our next figure, oh, oh no, oh no. That's our second three P, which is not a good sign because that means there's another figure that is just one per box in this box. And even then, that's not confirmed because we could get a four P, and then that means a minifigure is just missing. But anyways, we got a second, uh, or, or sorry, a, a repeat. What am I saying? A second P. <laughs> it's a little late. A second copy of the Samurai. Again, probably my least favorite of the series, but still pretty cool. The jacket design I'm starting to appreciate as well. I just like how tacky that looks. And yep, still proves the theory that same colors for each of these figures. Next, let's see what's inside. Another shark guy. Still really like this guy, surprisingly. And yeah, that's actually the wrong color mic. It should be the silver one, but I don't know where my extra silver one went, so I just took one of the extras from the other minifigures. Next pack. Okay, why am I trying to open this one so late? <laughs> I've been just ripping them open lately. Ah, okay, there's one we're missing. This is one of the ones I got in the two that Lego sent early. Nice cheap way to get the Bellatrix hair, though, wasn't she also in series two? I like the face right there with the tongue sticking out. Cool torso print as usual with these figures. Some nice dual molded legs at the bottom. Even a portal reference with this random beat bit right here. Nice choice with the orange background as well. Next pack. I even pull these packs, but oh, there's another figure we're missing from the box. And this is the other one I got in my early opening. I like getting the Harley Quinn hair in that coloring. I also like getting the cheerleader pom-poms in that color. This design has some nice beat bits as well. This one being the one that's tied to the figure. Here we go. Oh, come on, is a unique one? Is this a unique one? Oh no, third genie. Yep, genie number three, another three-peat. 
Not that it's a bad thing, because I love this figure. I'm just saying, I, I, for people who want to get the series, if you don't have enough money to blast as me, I don't want you guys spending too much money just trying to get these, and I think LEGO should just have two sets per box. But anyways, with this one, I really like this beat bit that I was able to get. Cool to capture another culture. The only one I'm missing is Bunny. Give me Bunny. And this is making me realize just how many beat bits are there, because we're still getting new ones. Like that last one, we got a new one. This one, I haven't even seen these two before. I think on YouTube, there's a video of somebody who like cracked the video app and found all the beat bits. I haven't looked too deep into that because I kind of want to discover it myself, but uh, we'll get to the bottom of it one day. Maybe I'll have to do a beat bit collection video. Come on, just give me the bunny. We have two packs left and I might legitimately be missing out on the bunny figure. If you're not guaranteed one comp ah. oh, Okay, so I hope my box is like every other box in that there's a complete set, at least one complete set of figures. So if you really just wanna fork over the 120, which is $5 per pack, 24 packs per box, you can get one complete set guaranteed. But what I would recommend is just buying a few mystery boxes because it's fun opening up mystery boxes and then just eBaying the rest because you don't wanna spend 120 for a lot of extras. Me personally, I love getting extras of minifigures. Anyways, the bunny right here is our last figure. It's another anthro one, so the furries will love that. This design having a molded head at the top. I like the little curly hair there, that's really cute. And this does have a bright blue screen torso, some legs, bright blue screen boom box, which I really like the design of. I also like how they, the other boom box has like different printing in the middle. I like how they're changing up printing in the middle of the boom boxes. And what I'm starting to notice with the beat bits is that some of the exclusive ones, and this is actually the case with the box sets too, the $20 ones, have a shine to them. So like regular ones wouldn't have a shine, but you would see a little bit of like a silver shine. And most of the ones in the series actually have like a shine to them, but some of them don't. So like the exclusive one for some reason for the cheetah doesn't have like a shiny design to it. I think it's the same with the ghost. Yeah, but you could check for like uh, the ice cream girl, whatever it's called. Uh, oh, not for shark. So maybe it isn't most of them. Oh, for the cowboy one. Yep, that's the case. Uh, for Samurai, that's the case. So yeah, it's something that makes them stand out a little bit more than the other random beat bits. And I have one more pack, so let me open up the last pack and then we'll look at the complete series, but the last pack, let it be another bunny. Oh, it's our third ice cream. Heck, now that I look at it, ice cream doesn't even have a shine to it. I thought it did. But yeah, look at this. I'm still getting new beat bits, so I didn't complete the beat bit collection, but there's not really an easy way to do that. I might end up eBaying the rest of the beat bits, but I don't even know if somebody would sell those random beat bits that I'm missing. It's so hard to keep track of which is which. I wish there was just a beat bit checklist that's a physical paper, not the freaking app, but I might just have to load up the app again. Anyways, compare it to our other two ice cream fellows and yep, same color scheme and all for the tiles. But let's take a look at all of the box contents together. Wait a hot minute. I just found an extra box underneath a pile of boxes. Okay, <laughs> let's see who's inside. So that is our second wolf, but now let's do the box breakdown. So here is our box breakdown. We have a total of 24 figures per box. Let's say every box follows this format. Here's what you should expect. And I'm saying this because Lego minifigure series for the minifigures theme have followed the same format even worldwide before. So you would have the same amount and same breakdown of figures across the board sometimes. But I might be wrong with this series, but let's just say it is. Well, you'll get three cheetahs per box, three cowboys, three genies, three ice cream. So those are the threes. For twos, you'll get two wolves, two sharks, two aliens, and two samurais. And then for the ones, there's only one of the cheerleader. I forgot what it is. I keep saying ice cream cheerleader. I think that's it. The red fox, the banshee singer, I think it is, and the rabbit per box. So these might be the more hard to find ones. And if you're still confused about how this app even works, right here is a pretty good explanation. Basically you put your minifigure on that stand, download the app, and then you scan it, and then you can press these buttons and the minifigure will pop up in the real world. And you have a little video that you can only view within the app. Anyways, just a conclusion on this new box. The mystery boxes, I'm still iffy about. I don't completely hate them like some people seem to, but I also do think it's kind of scummy if Lego doesn't include two sets per box. 
this could have been an easy way for the collectors like me and you to at least just buy a box and you get two sets. Who knows, maybe you could sell off the rest if you don't have disposable Lego money like I do, thanks to all of you guys. But what we have here is at least one separate box, which isn't terrible. It would have been really bad if it was just random minifigures, so you're not even guaranteed a set per box. And that could still be the case. This could just be a fluke box that I got and it's not the same as other ones. But what LEGO tends to do with these mystery box series is have some consistency worldwide. So I do expect each of these boxes to at least have one complete set. And don't worry, this is not the most detailed look you'll get of these figures on the channel because I'll be doing a review of these pretty soon. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. And I've done some other LEGO video videos, which you could just click on those playlists and cards there if you're interested in those reviews. As I asked earlier in the comments, let me know what you think of this shift to boxes for if they're going to do it for minifigure series. And like the video if you like the video because it helps me out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.